books. Uh, uh, right, I, I've come to a sort of a standstill with the oil painting for the moment. Um, I'm working from my own imagination. So I, I thought I'd go back to a credit. So I was going to go back to watercolours, but I, I can't really make headway with them at the moment. I'm too sort of interested in the, the uh, opaque media. And so here we've got some uh, paints. Uh, the ordinary titanium white, uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, uh, I always put some burnt sienna out, uh, Payne's grey, Payne's grey, some cadmium yellow, some yellow ochre. Uh, I like burnt sienna. I just want to show you some pictures, photos from the archive really. There's that one, a bit, a bit small but, oops. Uh, I did these years ago. Uh, that one. Uh, that one. Flowers. I don't really do flowers. Uh, this is my impressionist. Based on the technique of Arthur Madison. I mentioned Arthur Madison in a number of my videos. Uh, this is not a copy, it's, I made this one up, but it's all made up of uh, short strokes. Uh, it's not a very good photograph, this one, but uh, when I was doing the Venice paintings for the, for the uh, Webster Gallery. Uh, that one. Uh, I was going to show you um, Fred Gillespie's uh, Um, uh, perspective finder. This one I did. Uh, this was just burnt. I think it was just burnt umber and paints. Quite. I know. It was a tone study anyway. Uh, I quite enjoyed doing that. Uh, I used to take a lot of photographs, but now you can well, you just take photographs of everything your phones, can't you? Another tone study. Oops, let's come a little closer. One or two colours. Uh, so I've, got, I've got hundreds of these, but uh, this is a French one from, I think it was from, uh, it was from Karnak, or near Karnak on the south coast of Brittany. That's just a photograph. I've worked from that one. Uh, this is an early watercolour here. Uh, there we go. The old man walking down the lane. Probably inspired by Norfolk. Now here's an interesting uh, photograph. That is a, a bit of Whitstable on the beach. And the houses are on the, uh, above the shingle. Yeah, the house there was owned by um, who starred in the oh um, there's a, a Weatherspoon pub in which they were named after him um, Peter Cushing who did a lot of the Hammer Horrors and he he owned that house and lived there lovely oysters down there uh, These are the sort of photographs I like to take when I, when I remember. These sort of, that lovely tree is Somerset, Somerset level, levels. Uh, one aside there. Uh, oh, there's one, it's a bit overexposed, but uh, just another one. And this morning I'm going to, uh, Oh, here's a lovely photograph. I've painted this. I don't, I don't know where it is. Probably on uh, Etsy at the moment. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to make a composite up of some photographs of, or sort of, of some postcards that I, I bought when I was in Karnak. That was uh, we were away with friends in his uh, cousin's late cousin's house or tenement in uh, Rochesteron in. Provence, oh, let's go there. That there is the River Var, and that, when the the the, the, melt, the melt snow melt in the mountains happens, this can flood and take away bridges 
it runs down into the oh that's the Estron. It runs down into the Var River, which goes out through to the sea through uh, Nice. We had a wonderful week there with friends for next to nothing for the high of the place. We had a great time there. We we had had a few bottles of wine, <laughs> four of us that morning, so we went to this this bit of the river and, and sort of slept it off. Uh, but great fun. This one I took in uh, Norfolk. It's not a great photograph, but but it had the elements that I wanted: a bit of water, the, the tree, winter or spring trees. So it was a, in March, or we went with friends to a, the Dower House in Norfolk near Holt. Holt. And the guy that owned the Dower House, who lived in a in a manor, it's like a not like well, it wasn't a big manor house, but it was a manor house. He was the sheriff of uh, of, of Norfolk. A lovely guy. He swapped a couple of bottles of claret for one of my paintings of, of a ruined church in the ground. That was a nice guy. He was happy for people to roam across his land, he said, because if we ever get an extreme Labour government, they, they might so remember that he, he kept people walkers off of his land. A nice guy, and a great, great holiday. That's some fun. So these are the sort of things that I, I've collected. I've got a lot of these collected by George Laporte, and I've mentioned him several times in the past. I don't know if he's dead now, but he would use sand, mix all sorts of uh, texture in, in his uh, houses. But I'm going to build something um, on, on, on that, on those cottages, because I love those cottages. They're some fishermen's cottages. Uh, right, a bit of... Um, bit of uh, watercolour paper, it's on an old demo, I do this, I use, I use, I, I, I'm not sentimental about my, my, a lot of my paintings, they're demonstrations, they're not really finished works because I don't spend that much time on them, uh, but uh, I've just sewed this piece of paper, one side, you don't need to, to gesso, you can go straight onto the watercolour paper with, with your acrylic, uh, but I I wanted a, a mid-tone, so I mixed some... I put four dobs of uh, burnt umber, acrylic burnt umber, on the paper. Then a, a brush load of, of titanium white, and I just mixed them all together. And I've got a mid-tone, uh, which is good. Now, um, I, I'm going to see if I can find some burnt sand. I've been low on some of my acrylics, because I don't use them that often. But uh, I just had, I was just lay in bed this morning thinking, oh, what am I going to do in another oil painting? I don't really want to go back to a watercolour at the moment. So, so we'll add that, a bit of that, a bit of Kryla, Dale, Dale Rowley. The great thing about acrylic is it dries very quickly and you can work over it quite quickly. And you can use a hairdryer on it. I dry, I dry these with the hairdryer, otherwise you'll, you'll, you'll be waiting for about an hour for it to soak in and go off. But if you use a hairdryer, you can dry it in minutes. All right, I'll keep that, oops, I'll keep that separate. All right, brushes, let's uh, sort them. Brushes are falling in my waste paper. Waste bin. Uh, I want to use these flats. But first we need to do a bit of a drawing. Oh, there's a pin there sticking out. Ooh. Uh, right, so find my pen, my, or my clutch pencil, the big one. Uh, there it is. This is uh, Corinor Versatile. It's a lovely clutch pencil, look, it's got a three thick lead, a 4B lead, I think that is. And it just goes in there, and, and so that it doesn't break, you can push it back before you use it again. So I will have. Um, A few houses on here. Whoops, that's gone a bit, a bit higher there. So let's get that there. Put another one there. Uh, no, this one, not there. There. 
that sort of thing. You know, and, and make sure when you put windows in or doors that you don't collide with the chimney stack coming coming down. Right, we'll uh, do another one here. You can just keep going, going with these things. I'll use a flat brush for, for putting in the uh, slabs. Mm. So we're going to have trees here, made up, made up with uh, red, yellow, and blue three primaries, and we can put another one. Yeah, so it's coming down. There's sort of a wall along there, but we won't probably too much about that. Let me just come down here. And then the sea coming across here. And we can put a boat in. No, we don't need a, a mast, just, just a boat, just a, the shape of a boat. And we can have some sort of rocks in here and a bit of reflection in the water. And there we have a sort of a very simple drawing. Right, uh, now I've got this brush here. That's a, a, that is a watercolour brush, really. It's a night, no, I shouldn't really use it for watercolour, well, but. Uh, I, I will I'll use, I'll use this, oh, it's got a bit of oil off still in it. Uh, oh well I'll, I'll, I'll clean that one later, it's got a little bit of oil that hasn't quite gone off. So we we'll use these flat brushes uh, and I've got uh, a little brush here. I've got to get some more but I don't seem to... Because I got banned on eBay for, for the second time for reason unbeknown to me, uh, I, I need a couple of half inch or quarter of half inch brushes just so I could do the fine the fine stuff. Um, but uh, I'm always losing it. Well, I had a plot. Uh, what did I do with it? My little quarter of an inch brush that Alan Owen sent to me. Not there. Brushes everywhere. Oh well, we'll do it without so it will uh, not make the houses a bit bigger. Right, okay, so sky. Uh, so a bit of, I've got some vets gel. This is the stuff that vets use to lubricate their their arms when they do things to to uh, bovine beasts. Uh, uh, let's uh, Get a bit of ochre, touch of red in there. Let's just, just go for it. Make a bit of orange out of the red. Behind those trees, uh, maybe the trees are a bit big, but so well, I'll just reduce and get rid of them. Plenty of water, but just keep your brushes clean and dry. Otherwise, a bit of white in there. No idea what the sky is going to. Do turn out right but, uh, but that as it dries we can we can add to it but well, I, I do like the idea of a bit of a bit of a horizon red horizon just an idea right okay let's go to some blue and some red I can't show you the mixing because there's not enough room on my table 
to do that. Perfect gel. Blue, red, bold, boldness. Just mixing it in with the, the underpainting and a bit of interest to in the sky. More red. That bit of the brush is digging into my hand. So I'm going to move a bit further down the brush. So I get an impression of the sky, and we don't want to be too uh, exact. Otherwise, you might just as well have taken a photograph. That yellow ochre and the red, kind of red, makes a lovely sunset colour, doesn't it? Well, oh, this has some light clouds up the top there. I had a wonderful afternoon yesterday, but. My sister and brother-in-law there, so my wife and I and me out for lunch, a surprise lunch, it's to redeem our Christmas present that we never got exchanged. Uh, we went to, well we were in Kent, we were right out in the wilds of Kent, the Biggin Hill, don't like that, the old wartime airfield. Still used to some commercial flights going out and small jets. Um, we went to the uh, Western Brewery. Now that's a very sort of interesting place. It, it um, the the beer itself was uh, it, it's, they stopped brewing. I think it went out of business. I'm not sure, but but a couple of. Uh, Solicitors who who like proper beer, not this cake stuff, um, and resurrected the the brewery. They, it's, it's actually lovely now. Um, what did they do? Uh, they went to the Yeast Museum, which it does exist. Um, and. Started brewing with that yeast, and, and it was oh, very, very old and, and, and very traditional, traditional, uh, traditional. Yeah, it's, and we, we were we, when we got there, there were about fifteen hundred cyclists. They used that part of Kent as, a, as their racing track. It's a bit of a nuisance for drivers. Dangerous for a cyclist. Um, they're not university, uh, universally uh, popular. But uh, anyway, we we got inside the, the brewery. They've got a lovely setup. It's not. I would say it's a restaurant. So I said it's just tables and chairs where folks can go and enjoy it. superb beers. Western Brewery, and I. I've got wonderful stout. Service was terrific, considering how busy, busy they were, and serving about two hundred, about two thousand people. Well, probably not quite as many, but uh, 
you couldn't move for these these uh, cyclists anyway. And it was a a lovely lovely afternoon. We we had uh, I had muscles a big big. Uh, load of muscles they were, they were in a polystyrene box with the, the, the lid and you could put the shells of the, the muscles in the other side with nothing garlicky or and and the other seafood uh, platters and it was great and then the fam the rest of the fam my, my sister's family turned up and we had a great time great really good and beer well my word we didn't actually roll out. My sister was driving, so she didn't drink, of course. But I was drinking this wonderful dark beer, stout, it's called stout. I, I brew stout myself, and, and mine's pretty good. Uh, but this was uh, in the stratosphere. So I had several pints of that. Absolute glorious, glorious day. Now I'm going to put in some the the the, 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 the other stuff on here. Oh, oh no. I've, I thought for one moment that I'd found the brush, but I haven't. Uh, the brush everywhere. Uh, I've got a, a flat brush, but it's a bristle, and uh, maybe I'll we'll use it as sort of a flat bristle. Uh, now the roofs on these cottages are, are, are slate, so we mix a bit of paint grey. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Oh, that's all right. I was thinking of the uh, the um, the membrane underneath, or well, the membrane is on the toweling, but a bit of wet toweling. It's been going for for days. So let's just. Uh, Exact, but, but architecturally they've got to be sort of fairly accurate. Oh, that's one roof, and with that gel, uh, we've got this roof coming down here. This is a fiddly bit. Light, well, light, well, it won't be much light, will there? So let's just put a bit of shadow there, a bit of shadow there, for the chimney stacks. And then we'll have another, another one here, coming down there. They all huddle together. So with my head's in the way. So that's just a reminder, we can uh, go back to that, I'm peeved like, I always take it for granted that the brushes are going to be there. Worn out. It, it, it's, the bristles have have worn out, but um, the uh, the brush is split now. It's got it's been used for so many paintings. It, the oil's got into the uh, close to the the, uh, the feral feral being the uh, I'm not going to use the lovely uh, Frank Clark. Oh, I don't know. I've got 
brush here, I guess. Be a bit careful with these. So I've done my head. Okay, that roof line's not quite right, is it? So let's put a bit of bit of a bit of oakery light. Uh, let's, uh, Change that later. Uh, so these houses are painted uh, white, and, and we can use an off-white here. Oh, let's go get that house behind. I'm going to have a dark shadowy colour. The blue, a bit of that, a bit of blue, this and that. Let's see what that's like. Good show, is it? It's the same. Uh, it's the same colour as the background. Doesn't matter. Let's get all that. We, we just put in some windows and stuff. Lights are grey on there just to get a counter change right there. Uh, I've got uh, some white there. It takes a bit of time, isn't it? But uh, I hope it'll be worth it. I want that greyish colour. Up a bit. Right, uh, not quite right. I've put a bit of orange. Oops. Try not to connect your chimneys to the actual chimney stack. Just leave a bit of a gap, which I haven't. But... Oh, let's get that grey. Hold a minute. There's a counter change there, but it doesn't matter. Right, let's put some windows in. Let's uh, tidy it up a bit. Let's 
not for the single story dwellings. And one there, put that one there, and then we'll get these. These would be uh, two story, let's just put them in. Right, now we've got to come up here a bit because we're going downhill here a little bit. Right, now we can go back to some trees now. Let's get the tree brushes. Uh, uh, so red, you can't, you won't be able to see them, but you can, I'll just show you. That. There well, we've got the blue, the yellow and the red. And that's our dark green. Okay. Just mix that in. Right. So uh, let's just see if we can highlight I can be really mistake that. Got too much uh, red in there. You can also mix this with Payne's Grey. Dark in there. Very the colour. Bit more blue in there. Get some sh shadow in the bottom of that. Change that red. Try and get the trees different. Alright, now we come in here and make this some white there, a bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of yellow. Uh, we can put the, the texture, oh, the, uh, the forms back afterwards. Probably we might need to be a bit lighter than that, but let's uh, get in here. I know oil one day and the credit the next, so let's just get that up there. Okay, uh, I'll have to bring, I'll have to bring that uh, down a bit, oh, make sure your brush, th that bit there, between my, th my thumb and forefinger, my index finger, that's, that would be water, so make sure you get it all out, uh, right, okay, uh, red, blue, yellow. Get that horizon more or less horizontal. It just highlights the houses, it gives that nice dark background. Uh, Let's come across here. What we're going to do there? 
I put a bit of a grey wall in there, I think. Maybe a bit, a bit of ochre. Just warm it up a bit. We're in shadow there. What? Well, where are we? We're just going to do a bit of sand, a bit of oak, a bit of sienna, a bit of white. Mixing the burnt sienna with the, uh, the raw sienna. Put some rocks in the background. Let's uh, finish this bit of beach here. Bit of white. And a little bit of that uh, already ochre colour. That reflects the water. Get some rocks, some dark rocks. Might put some light on the tops of these. suggesting I'm not making portraits of anything. Just a little bit of light. All helps. Can't see much of the sea wall there, but let's uh, put the bits of rocks I want that are sort of lined up in the. Uh,
just trying to provide a bit of texture in this. Now that's all nice and dry, or dryish. Put in a little bit of that red. Now we do see the bit of C. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, now what would be a good, uh, well, a bit of dark blue or grey. Now we can put in a bit of that uh, reflection of that all that lovely uh, sky. Just lose it, lost and found. Got to sleep yet? Right, let's uh, see if we can get the, the whites in that this building here. See if we can lay them back a bit. They're further back, those ones. Uh, I need a little bit of that pinky colour just to get that right there. those windows back. Just using the paint grey. Right, uh, that wall is Frank 
boys leaving a bit, but that's it. And then I can rest on the board now because, uh, uh, because. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get a bit of. Whoops. That's a sort of why I do the step. Bit nondescript here, I don't know what to do with that. Uh, other than, I've got a rigger. This year's this one. This brush and the and the paints just started to peel off a bit. Where's the other one? This one. Got a little bit of the oakery. I like it. Thin, thin the chisel edge. Sort of a grey. That's a bit of mess, isn't it? So a bit of bit of uh, the uh, vet gel in there. Still a bit. The brush is not coming to its chisel, chisel edge. I don't really want them white, I don't, I don't, a bit of colour. I will say, we'll see that for a moment. Uh, what we could do, we could go a bit of red, do a couple of uh, figures along here. Twilight. Need to lighten up some of that um, and, and because we've uh, got some reflections of those houses there, so let's uh, bung them in.
Mm, let's take a little bit more care with, with that one here. A bit of that uh, black. See if we can beef up that uh, water and reflection a bit. Calm water. And we'll get a little bit of that greeny stuff in as well. Sandy colour there. Alright, so what we've got to do now is to put that little boat in. Not that I've lost, so I'm going to have it as black. Quite hard to define. That might be better to do with a, an acrylic pen. Just about see it. to let that go I think. I'm a good clean, let's give it a signature. You can sign these with, uh, I've got to put a bit, a bit more in there I think. Uh, let's get a bit of white, a bit of water. Now, this scene does not exist anywhere. It's just my idea of of a memory. Uh, all right, there's a, that little brush. Go dig that out, and we'll put in some uh, put in some seaweedy stuff. Oh, look at that! It's a horrible brush now. I don't know why I bother with it. some stuff. Uh, 
that rock has been sort of dismembered, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so let's just bring that up a bit. reflection in there and we put a bit of light in for that skylight. Not a great sound uh, rock, is it? A bit too big. Just some non nondescript bits of uh, stuff in here. Uh, yeah, no, but, yeah, no. Beach. Uh, right, okay, well, I'm, that's not going to do with that, I think. Oh, right, I'll put it in a mount. So. Careful with that basket because my brush just fell in it. Uh, right, let's get a bit of dark grey, I think. Uh, oh, we didn't have a little brush. A bit of dark grey, so a bit of a bit of water, a bit of the paints, a bit of ochre. 